Hey, I'm going to do a quick little video here because I figured out how to get Moonlight on the Macintosh to a work. So the first important thing is you need to make sure that when you're on their main site, uh, when you're going to actually download uh, the uh, app, let me see, where is it? Uh, here, go to their like, website. And then want to uh, you know, download, download, say you know, for Windows, Mac, Linux, download. Make sure you get the uh, OS X version. And then we go back over here. All right, and now this is where it gets really important because you need to do a couple things in order to make everything work. So the first thing I do is I would just, you know, go make a folder somewhere, you know, and put the jar that you got from the site there. And then you want to open up a terminal window and then um, go to the folder where you just had it. So for me, I put it on top of my desktop. And then what you want to do is you want to run the following command first. You want to run the, the pair command. If you look over here on the uh, window, you know, basically you want to type in java minus jar and then you know there'd be the name of the uh, jar you know so in my case it it would be limelight hyphen osx64 dot jar and then what you need to do is then type in minus pair and then put the address to your host machine so for me it was 192 uh, 168 12864 right there i can I, I can make it bigger so that was my pair address. So you will run this first, and then it's going to churn a, churn a little bit, and then it's going to pop up a little message box. And then that box is going to say, go to your host PC and type in the following code so that you can then pair your desktop machine to your other host machine. So you need to firstly do that, run to your other PC, which hopefully, you know, you're like, GeForce Experience is currently working. You may want to go in there and just say, open the experience first. You know, make sure if it has to do any updates, you know, it can get all that stuff done. And then, like, once the main screen comes on, then, you know, try over here. Do the pair command. Take the code there. Type it in. Hit connect. And then, you know, it should say uh, you have successfully paired with the machine. Uh, da, da, da. Where is that guy go? Oh, I don't know. It was somewhere in here. But it'll it'll basically say pair successful. And then once you've done that, then you want to type in another Java command, which now would be Java minus jar, you know, the like limelight OS X64, and then you want to do a minus host, and then type in the host address. And now there's other options you you may want to look at. You can you know launch it in full screen mode, 720p versus 1080p, which if you're over Wi-Fi, I would suggest maybe using 72030. You know, if you're probably on a like wired connection, you might be able to get it get away with 1080p. But then usually with the streaming, you want the uh, you know you want a constant frame rate. So running it at 720p is not that bad. So now what I'm going to go in here. Also going to add in, I want to run in 720. All right. And then also minus 30 FPS. I'm going to now hit enter and just wait a little bit. And now Limelight has actually popped open. Just got to wait, wait, wait now. And now I am um, at my other machine. So I can go to my library. Uh, click on Broken Age, hit play. Uh, mouse is a bit laggy on this machine. Probably also because I'm over a uh, Wi Fi connection. Alright, now just wait. Oh, yay! Double fine stuff. Sweet. Alright, yep. Yeah. So now I can play it on my Mac if I wanted it to be full screen. I just need to, you know, pass it a different option and then once you have paired the pairing should just last so that will you know so you don't need to do that step over and over again 
but I would suggest just go and make a uh, kind of like a light bat file or just a little shortcut, you know, with with that command that so you don't need to just constantly type it over and over because that would just get get annoying real fast. All right, and then if I want to exit out, just go to exit and then just say stop streaming. And it was easy. It like, wait a second, it should turn itself off. There it goes. Okay, now it is over. And I should probably go here, do a e control C. And now the Java thing is done, and I have finished. I have uh, successfully launched a game. It wasn't the best quality because of this slick Wi-Fi connection here. But uh, thanks.